so good morning uh, everyone uh, we are going to discuss the flat bell drive design procedure with the uh, example problem so the first thing that we are going to do is uh, we are going to discuss about the design procedure so here is the design procedure so the design procedure for the flat bell drive we can uh, design in two ways one is using fundamental formulas uh, I think that you have learned in a previous semester or else we can see that uh, problem also and uh, next by using the manufacturer catalog okay so here we are going to discuss the manufacturer catalog procedure so the first uh, thing is design procedure for flat bell drive based on the manufacturer manufacturers tables okay from the first thing that we have to do is the first step that we have to do is from the given conditions like power type of working conditions, uh, diameter of pulley, speed ratio, etc. and determine the power that is the design power. Okay. So the first thing that we have to do is uh, we have to write the given data. Either they will give the uh, diameter of the pulley or the speed ratio or the power. So these are the conditions. So see here in the example problem you can uh, um, find that design a bell drive to transmit a 30 horsepower at 740 rpm at to an aluminum rolling machine. The speed ratio is 3.0. The distance between the pulley is 3 meters and diameter of the rolling uh, machine pulley is 1.2 meters okay so this is the question he has given so we have almost uh, half of the data that is uh, we have uh, uh, diameter of pulley and uh, whenever in the question they have asked for to design a, a bell drive for uh, a power of 30 horsepower means we have to uh, design the bell drive for more than the required value so that is the design power so whenever you are designing a flat bell drive means we have to design for more uh, more power so that it can uh, withstand whatever the uncondition uh, conditions that it is going to face like loading and all so in that case we are going to uh, start the procedure with the first step that is the design pro power so we are already having a power okay so the rated power into service factor so that that is the service factor is the load correction factor so that means different loading conditions so we are going to use the service factor and arc of contact so based on the arc of contact the power will be different okay suppose this is the police okay so the uh, contact so the arc of contact will be different for different police okay so based on the arc of contact if the arc uh, the power will be uh, different for different police okay so we have to take the arc of contact also so the design power is equal to rate of rate power into service factor into arc of contact so we are going to uh, design a power which is more than the required value so if we design a power more than the required value means that will be in a safe condition okay so the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to write the given data so the given data is the rated uh, rated power he has given so rated power is 30 horsepower and next it, he has given the pulley uh, speed okay this is n1 m is equal to 740 rpm so the next he has given us speed ratio that is i is equal to 3.0 that is nothing but n by capital n or capital d by small d okay so the speed ratio he is given as 3 okay so next he has given a capital d so the capital d is diameter of the rolling machine pulley is 1.2 meters okay so this is the given data so the first thing that we have to do is we have to design the power okay so the design power is equal to rated power into rated power into service factor service factor into arc of contact okay arc of contact so 
where we can find this formula in the data book in the data book page number 23.3 you can find the formulas okay the design power is equal to pd is equal to pr into ks into ka okay so here the rated power that is already given in the question itself okay so the rated power is already given and the service factor and uh, arc of contact that we have to know okay so the rated power is already known the service factors where we can find the service factor the service factor can be found out in the page number 23.7 so 23.7 you can find the load correction factor that is a service factor case so you can find the nature of load either we can select based on the nature of load or based on the applications okay so the load correction factor value can be found out from this tabular column so in the question he has mentioned as ro aluminium rolling machine so you can find it as rolling mills okay rolling machines or rolling mills so that we can take it as 1.5 okay so 1.5 so next arc of contact so the arc of contact is can be found out in the page number 23.4 tabular column 23.1 okay so the open open bell drive okay you have already uh, known what is the open bell drive cross bell drive and the quarter turn bell drive that we have seen in the classifications okay so open bell drive so theta is equal to 180 minus uh, d minus d by c into 60 degrees so c is nothing but your center distance and capital d is the diameter of the pulley and uh, small d is the diameter of the smaller pulley okay so theta is equal to theta is equal to 180 minus capital d minus small d c into 60 degrees okay so here uh, capital d is already given in the question and center distance so the center distance distance between the pulley is mentioned as three meters three meters okay so center distance is also known and only we have to find out the small d value so small d value can be found out by we have given in the question it's uh, in the question the speed ratio 3.0 so with that we can find out the small d value okay small d is equal to capital d by i okay so capital d is 1.2 by 3 so we can get an answer of 0. 4 meters okay so this is the value that i have got okay so the next thing that we are going to do is we are going to find out the arc of contact 180 minus capital d is 1.2 minus 0. 0.4 by center distance is 3 into 60 so 164 degrees okay so the arc of contact is 164 degrees with this we can find out the uh, design power so the design power can be found out uh, by this see here so the design power is equal to pd is equal to pr into ks into ka okay so that is the formula we are having so pd is, is nothing but your design power pr is the rated power ks is the service factor and ka is the arc of contact factor okay so the arc of contact factor can be found out from the page number 23.7 table number 23.7 so the arc of contact factor can be found out so you uh, you have got an answer of arc of contact as 164 degrees okay so from this tabular column the arc of contact value is 164 so we'll be going for an higher value that is 170 so the correction factor that we are having is 1.04 so i am taking the between value 1.06 i am taking it as yes, okay 
सो करेक्शन फैक्टर के ये इज इक्वल टू वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स सो द नेक्स्ट सो पी डी इज इक्वल टू पी आर इंटू के एस इंटू के ए ओके सो पी आर वैल्यू इज थर्टी इंटू के एस वैल्यू इज वन पॉइंट फाइव इंटू वन पॉइंट जीरो सिक्स ओके सो वी कैन गेट द डिजाइन we can get the design power value so the design power that i have got is 47.7 horsepower okay horsepower okay so the next thing that we have to do is we have to decide the type of belt so the type of belt can be decided based on the number of plies okay so number of plies of the belt and uh, depending upon the uh, number of plies will be depending upon the belt speed and the diameter of the smaller pulley okay so the smaller pulley so that can be found out in the page number so first we have to decide which type of belting that we are going to select whether we are going to we are having only two types of uh, belts uh, standard types of belt that is the high speed belt and the four duct belting so uh, which type of belting that we have to select so the high speed belting will be selected for light loads and medium loads whereas four type will be selected for uh, medium loads and uh, heavy loads okay so that we can select and later we have to select the minimum so that we have to select the number of plies so number of plies is nothing but suppose we are having a belt like this so suppose we are having a belt like this so the belt will be having number of plies okay so so based on the number of plies we will be selecting the type of belting so the belting in the number of plies can be selected based on the speed belt speed and diameter of the smaller pulley so we are having the belt speed we are having around so we need to calculate the belt velocity first okay so in order to get this value we have to uh, calculate the belt velocity so the belt velocity v is equal to pi d n by 60 or else uh, pi capital d n by 60 okay so we are going to do this uh, pi into uh, d that is the diameter of the smaller pulley 0.4 in this small n that we have got is 740 rpm okay so that is given in the question itself 740 by 60 okay so i have got an answer of 15.5 meters per second okay so that is the value that i have got so we can find the values of uh, so we can find the number of plies depending upon the speed okay velocity of the belt and diameter of the smaller pulley okay so i have got an answer of 15.5 meters per second so i am going to select this uh, speed uh, based on that we are going to select the uh, uh, diameter of the pulley so i don't have an exact value of uh, diameter i am going to select either we can select a little bit nearest value either 315 or 500 whatever the thing may i am going to select as 500 okay so that is the nearest value i am going to select as 8 ply belt okay so i am going to select a 8 ply belt okay so first thing that i have done is i have selected a fort duct belting that can withstand a high high loading capacity and uh, Eight ply belt. So here the value of uh, four duct belting is zero point zero three nine two horsepower. The load rating per mm width per ply at one eighty degree of arc of contact at ten meters per second belt speed. Okay. So this value is a standardized value which is uh, going which is only applicable for. 180 degree of arc of contact and 10 meters per second belt speed that is a single ply okay so it is for 
एम एम आफ प्लै ओके सो वन सिंगल आफ प्लै की ఈ వాల్యూ సెలెక్ట్ అవుతుందండి ఓకే సో వన్ ఎయిటీ డిగ్రీస్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ సో వాట్ ఎవర్ ద ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ గాట్ సో మనం ఏంటంటే కనుక వీ హ్యావ్ టు సెలెక్ట్ ద వాల్యూ ఓకే సో ఈ వాల్యూ నుంచి మనకి ఏంటంటే మనకు వచ్చిన ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ వాల్యూ దట్ ఈస్ వన్ ఎయిటీ డిగ్రీ ఆఫ్ ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ కాబట్టి మనకు వచ్చిన ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ అండ్ మన దగ్గర ఉన్న స్పీడ్ బేస్ చేసుకొని అండ్ నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ ప్లైస్ బేస్ చేసుకొని మన మనం వాల్యూని సెలెక్ట్ చేసుకోవాలి ఓకే సో దిస్ ఇస్ ద బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ వాల్యూ సో ద బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ వాల్యూ ఫర్ వన్ ఎయిటీ డిగ్రీస్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ అండ్ టెన్ మీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు మేక్ ఇట్ ఫర్ ఫర్ అవర్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ ఓకే సో అవర్ ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఈస్ వన్ సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ డిగ్రీస్ అండ్ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎ బెల్ట్ స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ సో వీ హ్యావ్ టు అండ్ వీఆర్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎయిట్ ప్లైస్ ఓకే సో సో దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు చేంజ్ ద వాల్యూ అకార్డింగ్ టు అవర్ రిక్వైర్మెంట్స్ ఓకే సో వి బేస్డ్ ఆన్ దట్ వీ హ్యావ్ టు క్యాలకులేట్ ద బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ సో ద బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ ఆఫ్ ది సెలెక్టెడ్ ప్లై సెలెక్టెడ్ ఎయిట్ ప్లై బెల్ట్ విత్ కరస్పాండింగ్ ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ కరస్పాండింగ్ ఆర్క్ ఆఫ్ కాంటాక్ట్ ఆఫ్ వన్ సిక్స్టీ ఫోర్ డిగ్రీస్ అండ్ బెల్ట్ స్పీడ్ బెల్ట్ స్పీడ్ ఆఫ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ ఓకే దట్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు సో వీ హార్ హ్యావింగ్ ఎ వాల్యూ ఆఫ్ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో త్రీ నైన్ టూ ఫర్ సింగిల్ ప్లై దట్ ఈజ్ ఇంటూ ఎయిట్ ప్లైస్ ఫర్ వీ నీడ్ ఫర్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ మీటర్స్ పర్ సెకండ్ స్పీడ్ సో it is for 10 meters per second and arc of contact is 164 we need for we need for 164 degrees arc contact as it is given for 180 degrees okay so we can get the belt capacity okay so after calculation i have got an answer of so i have got an answer of 0.442 horse power mm width okay so this is the value that i have got so the next thing that we have to do is we need to find the width so width required width of the belt so required width of belt that is equal to డిజైన్ పవర్ బై బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ సో దట్ క్యాన్ బి ఫౌండ్ అవుట్ దిస్ ఫార్ములా క్యాన్ బి ఫౌండ్ అవుట్ ఇన్ ద పేజ్ నెంబర్ సో సియర్ సో సో విత్ ఆఫ్ ది బెల్ట్ క్యాన్ బి ఫౌండ్ అవుట్ బై డిజైన్ పవర్ బై బెల్ట్ రేటింగ్ పర్ ఎంఎం విత్ దట్ ఈస్ ద బెల్ట్ కెపాసిటీ ఓకే so that is equal to design power that i have got is 47.7 by uh, 0.442 okay so i have got the width of the belt as 107 mm 107.7 mm that is around 108 mm okay so that is the width of the belt so we can select the width of the belt from the tabular column here so see here so based on the standard width in millimeters that is the number of based on the number of plies so we are having uh, eight plies uh, six plies and eight plies so i have selected for fourth value so i have got a 200 so that is the standard value so i am going to select as next standard width of the belt as 200 mm so next standard 
वैल्यू ऑफ विथ ऑफ बेल्ट विथ ऑफ बेल्ट दैट इज इक्वल टू टू हंड्रेड एम एम सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज कैलकुलेशन ऑफ लेंथ ऑफ द बेल्ट सो द लेंथ ऑफ द बेल्ट कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाई द फॉर्मूला हियर सो दैट इज इन पेज नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट फोर इन द पेज नंबर टेबल नंबर ट्वेंटी थ्री पॉइंट वन सो वी कैन फाइंड द एल इज इक्वल टू टू सी प्लस फाइव बाई टू इंटू डी प्लस डी प्लस डी माइनस डी होल स्क्वेर बाई फोर इंटू सी सो वी आर वी हैव ऑल द वैल्यूज हियर टू इंटू थ्री दैट इज देंटर डिस्टेंस प्लस फाइव बाई टू इंटू वन पॉइंट टू प्लस जीरो पॉइंट फोर प्लस वन पॉइंट टू माइनस जीरो पॉइंट फोर स्क्वेर फोर इंटू थ्री ओके so i have got an answer of 8.566 meters okay so that is the length of the belt so the last step the in the calculation design calculation of the belt is we have to find the reduction of length for belt tension that means if you are if you are having the belts are rotating like this okay so obviously the when the belts are rotating i mean the pulleys are rotating there is a chance of slippage so in order to avoid that slippage so we need to provide some tension so for uh, different plies we are having different value of uh, um, different value of reduction of length for uh, belt tensions that we are having so belt of uh, 4 5 6 plies we are having 1.1% of length and belt of 8 plies we are having 0.5% of length belt of 3 plies we are having 1.5% of length okay so this uh, this thing can be found out in the page number 23.8 okay so for calculation of the reduction of belt so the reduction of belt reduction of length for initial tension initial tension is equal to 0.5 percentage of length so the required length is equal to 8.566 into 100 minus 0.5 by 100 so that will gives you the reduction in length so i have got an answer of 8.5 52 3 okay so almost uh, equal nothing much okay okay oh and the last thing that we have to do is we have to find the pulley width okay as we are having so these are the pulleys okay so we have find the belt width as well as belt length distance center distance everything the last thing that we have to do is pulley width we have to find out so pulley width can be found out by pulley width is equal to so see here so based on the belt width we have to calculate the pulley width okay so if it is uh, belt width is less than or equal to something like this based on the values we can find the pulley width so i have got the belt with the standard value that is uh, less than 250 mm okay so belt width plus 25 that will gives you the pulley width so 200 plus 25 so 225 mm okay so the last one that we are going to do is calculation of crown crown of a flat bed flat pulley okay so what is meant by the crown here suppose you are having a, a pulley pulley like this okay 
so pulley like this if we, if the pulley is flat means obviously that will gives you the uh, uh, slippage so in order to avoid that we are going to have a, some sir, crown like this okay so the crown so the crown height is like this okay so the based on the diameter we are having the crown h value okay so based on that we can find the value so uh, capital d value will be so capital d is 120 120 mm that we are having so 42 112 or 125 and 140 so that will be 0 0.4 or 0 0.3